Okay. Uh, we're back. I'm back. I hope you're back too. <laughs> okay, we're at the last example for the for this chapter. Chapter chapter two. Chapter two. <laughs> okay. Uh, the application of energy equation. So energy, energy head, and the energy equation. Now we have we are at number four already. Less illustrative problem. So let me read to you, but I hope you have your modules with you because I think the, the figures in your modules are better than what I have drawn in this whiteboard. A fireboat draws seawater from submerged pipe and discharges it through a nozzle. The, the total head loss is 6.5 feet. If the pump's efficiency is 75%, what horsepower motor is required to drive it? So we have a fireboat. So a fireboat is driven by a pump. Now, if the pump is 75% efficient, what would be the required um, horsepower? Ano dapat yung bibilhin ko na anong power? Ano kalakas dapat yung pump na bibilhin ko? if it's 25% efficient to drive the fire boat okay so again uh, we're going to apply the energy equation Bernoulli's energy equation with a pump okay so what are we going to do we choose two points so when we apply energy equation we always need two points okay so in designating those two points we need to consider that uh, dapat uh, it should eliminate so the number of unknowns in the equation. And of, uh, another thing to consider is the direction of flow. So, ito yung pump natin. Ito siya kumukuha ng tubig. So, the direction, so ito yung inlet niya. And then, lalabas siya dito. So, may pipe dito. So, ang direction ng flow natin is upwards. Bumanon. So, where should we put the points? So, dapat yung points natin, alam natin, as much as possible, we know yung elevation, we know the pressure, and we also know the velocity. No? Para ma-minimize yung number of unknowns dun sa equation natin. So, saan natin ilalagay ngayon yung uh, two points natin? Okay? So... I think we should put our points this is the surface of uh, water or sea water I should say okay so first point natin dito sa surface and se a second point dito sa my uh, nozzle dito sa my outlet natin sa my nozzle o bakit dito yung point one natin so sa point one since the sea or ocean is very large you know yung movement yan yung kung downward man yan negligible actually yung movement ng ng sea water dyan so we can neglect the velocity there and then what else the pressure there is atmospheric and the elevation o oh, depende yan kung saan nilalagay yung, yung datum natin but I think we can compute for the elevation when we um, designate a certain datum Okay, there was a bit of an interruption there. So, point 1 dito. And then, point 2 sa my exit point sa my nozzle. So, we know the velocity given yun at 120 feet per second. We also know the, the uh, pressure, atmospheric pressure. And we can compute for the elevation once we, we, once we designate a certain datum. Okay, so since wala namang designated datum for this particular problem, we can choose any point no but na uh, we can designate anywhere along the system yung datum natin maybe we can uh designate na lang yung water surface yung sea water surface as our uh datum this would be our datum or reference point no so that the elevation at point 1 would be zero since point 1 is at the surface of seawater and the elevation of point 0.2 f 
from our designated datum is 10 feet. Ayan. So, 10 feet. Ito. Okay. So, we apply the energy equation. So, what do we have here? Since pump yan, uh, meron tayong pump dun sa, may energy head ng pump dun sa ating equation. So, we have V1 squared over 2G plus P1 over gamma plus Z1 plus your energy head sa pump should be equal to uh, V2 squared all over 2G plus P2 over gamma plus Z2 plus yung head loss. Uh, meron tayong given na head loss from 1 to 2. So, sabi din kanina, we can neglect the velocity at point 1 since surface yan ng sea water, napakalawak ng ocean or ng sea. So, negligible yung movement ng uh, sea water surface. P1 and P2 are the same. So, yung atmospheric pressure sa point 1, atmospheric pressure sa point 2, if these quantities are the same or these terms are the same, then definitely uh, these terms will would cancel. Z1 is also zero since our datum, we, dig, we, we designated our datum at the seawater surface. So this is zero. Z2 is 10 feet from uh, point one or from our datum. HA is what we are interested in. Uh, ito yung sinasolve natin. Ito yung sinasolve natin. Energy head so that we can solve for the uh, required horsepower of the pump. Uh, head loss from 1 to 2 is given. So, we are left with HA is equal to uh, V2 squared all over 2G plus Z2 plus yung head loss from 1 uh, to 2. So, HA then is equal to uh, what is V2 squared? V2 is 120. feet per second squared over 2g it's 32.2 in gravity uh, feet per second square plus z2 uh, z2 is 10 feet plus your head loss from 1 to 2 it's given to be 6 point uh, 6.5 feet so that our energy head, the required energy head in the pump is equivalent to uh, 240.1025 feet. Okay? So, 240.1025 feet. Now, we solve for the required power. That is equivalent to Q gamma H A. So, ano, how do you solve for Q? Hindi siya given yung Q. But we can solve for Q since uh, given naman yung velocity at the exit point. Okay. So, we can solve for the, the value of discharge in the system. So, Q is equal to the product of the area, cross-section area, and the velocity. So, Q now is equal to, we have at... Section 2 at point 2, the diameter is 2 inches. Uh, convert that into feet. So we have pi times, so we have 2 inches. We have 12 feet in 12 feet. To like 12 inches now. in 1 foot squared all over. So that's the cross sectional area times the velocity at 120 feet per second. So the discharge is equal to uh, 2.618 2.618 uh, cubic feet per second. That's the required discharge. So the power then, the power. Ito yung required na power. Ano? Ito yung required na power para madrive yung fireball. That's equivalent to Q. That is 2.618 cubic feet per second. 
times the unit weight of uh, seawater, that is, we multiply the specific gravity of seawater by the unit weight of water, that is 1.025 times 62.4. Ah, uh, medyo mahaba. Ilitin natin. <laughs> Magkasya sa isang linya. So, the power is equal to 2.618 cubic feet per second times uh, unit weight of seawater that is 1.025 times 62.4 uh, pounds per cubic foot times the energy head in the pump the required energy head that is 240.1025 feet so if you try to uh, look into the units cancel yung cubic feet there and then we're left with foot pound per second so what is the resulting power in foot pound per second that is equivalent to 40,204.4165 foot pound per second. Now we are required to solve it in in horsepower. So you convert that into the horsepower. So we have. Uh, in one horsepower, we have 550 feet a uh, foot pound per second. So, hindi ko nilalagay yung unit to save uh, space for 165 times. So, in one horsepower, we have 550 foot pound per second so the required power is 73.0989 uh, horsepower this is the required power para ma drive yung fireboat but remember the pump's efficiency is uh, 75% so kapag bibili ka ng pump hindi itong exactly na ito ang bibilhin mo na power since yan yung required na power to drive the pump uh, pero 75% efficient lang siya so hindi yan ang exactly bibilhin mo na power ng pump so ito yung output na required so ano dapat yung input natin na input na rit na na power dun sa pump so based from our formula for e efficiency so efficiency is equal to output I don't know lower input is equal, uh, times 100% ok so yung efficiency natin so, ang sinas this is the required output then yung output natin we are solving for the input power ano dapat yung uh, bibilhin natin na power ng pump to produce this power if the pump is 75% efficient so yung uh, power input then is equal to output at 73.0989 horsepower divided by yung efficiency na uh, 75% times 100% so the required input power is equivalent to uh, 97 point four six five two horsepower so ito dapat yung bibilhin mo na power ng pump to produce a 73.0989 horsepower na output no. since the pump is 75% efficient okay so this would be the answer for problem number 4 I hope you 
understand yung concept ng efficiency sa application ng concept ng efficiency dito sa uh, pumps and turbines okay uh, if you have questions you may uh, raise your questions sa GC natin or sa you can message me through MVLE or you may also comment on the comment section of the video if you have queries or section uh, or question for this particular problem or topic okay so next would be chapter 3 but before that I'll give I'll be giving you an activity you no know? so MVLE na lang. Okay.